This is just a really quick look into how to translate your renders out of Maya properly into After Effects. We want to make sure that our size is correct, the color is correct, and the frame rate is correct. So first I'm just going to go start everything fresh. I closed any pop-up windows that came up when launching After Effects. Everything is blank. Over here in the project window, I'm going to right click, import, file, make sure it's the single file. Navigate to your images, mine's in my images folder, and I'm going to select the first image in my sequence. For me is walker2 underscore 1, and the format I have is JPEG, but this does not matter what format you have. Um, we have JPEG sequence here at the bottom is check. Again, if you're working with TIFF images, you're going to have TIFF sequence. Just make sure this is on. And hit open. It comes in. I have 150 frames. I see the thumbnail. It's clearly too dark from what I wanted in Maya. Um, I have the size 1280-720, which is HD 720. That's correct. I have 5 seconds in duration and 30 frames per second. So first I want to fix the frame rate. So I'm going to right click on my footage that I imported. Interpret this footage main. I'm going to change the frame rate here to 24. Hit OK. So now this reflects that and is accurate. Now I can make my composition for my project. So I'm going to right click on the footage again and say new comp from selection. Creates this here. The quality may look lower than you expected in this viewing area. That's because in the very center of this area we have a little drop down for quality in terms of preview. If you go to full, you'll see your high quality renders. I prefer to work very low because it will render faster and preview faster. It takes less memory. Alright, so now I see this. The color is still too dark. So what I'm going to do is go back again to my footage here and interpret again, main again. And at the very top, it's very easy to miss, but there's two tabs. There's main options where the frame rate was. There's also color management. Right now it says interpret as linear light on for 32. I actually want to turn this to on. And you saw right away that that changed. If I kind of go back, on for 32, it's very dark, on. This is the color level that I had when I was rendering still frames in Maya. Batch rendering does not account for that. Hit OK, and now that's fixed. I'll do the exact same step with any footage that I bring in after this. Now the last step is that your composition will match the size of that footage that you selected the 150 frames or whatever it was that you brought in, which is a problem because this is the composition I want to use for my entire project and it's too short. So again, to extend the length of your composition, you're going to right click up here on your actual comp. For me, that's called Walker 2. I know it's the composition because it has the sandstone color over here instead of aqua and the icon is also different. Composition settings. I have duration. This goes hours, and then minutes, and then seconds, and frames. So I know my film is one minute long, so I'm going to go here to the zero and type in one, and just zero everything else out. So I have exactly one minute in this composition. I say OK. You're not going to see that duration reflected down here in the timeline until you use the mountains at the very bottom to zoom to the left. And then I see all this blank empty space that's waiting for my additional renders.